Gravel bike tire clearances have gotten so big so quickly that it's really started to open up the world of mountain biking tires to gravel riders. But why would you run mountain bike tires on your gravel bike? And even should you do that? Well, I have spent the last few months with my bossy in full chunk mode, and I've got some thoughts on why you would and wouldn't run mountain bike tires for gravel. Now, before we jump in, I'll show you the setup that I've been using. It's a set of the Vittoria Mescal 27.5 by 2.1, and these are the older generation now, so I won't be doing a full review. But in short, I quite like them. They're super easy to set up, they have a nice amount of grip, and they haven't worn too badly considering the amount of tarmac I've ridden them on. Overall, they're the exact kind of mountain bike tire you'd want to run on your gravel bike. So let's talk about why you would want a setup like this. Wide mountain bike tires means a wide range of grip, and a wide range of grip means a wide range of riding options, and that's what this really boils down to. Mountain bike tires means you are pretty much always equipped for what your ride is going to throw at you, whether it's rocky and bumpy trails, and even, I don't know, kangaroos. Ooh. <laughs> This concept is particularly important for bikepacking where you kind of need to be ready for basically everything and the stakes are quite high for if you have any problems with your equipment. So wide tires, wide grip, wide options. I've been running these mountain bike tires between 15 and 20 PSI and that has made a huge difference to the amount of comfort when I'm riding on rough trails. Those comfort gains really do compound over a longer ride. You just take so much less battering on your hands, your arms, your back, and sort of into your butt as well. And towards the end of the long day, I definitely notice the feeling of whether I've been knocked around more or less depending on the tires that I'm running. The rougher the ride, the more you gain from bigger tires with lower pressures. Mountain bike tires have been maturing tubeless technology for so much longer than other disciplines, particularly road. And that means that they are very well behaved tubeless. And to be fair, I've had some really good experiences with gravel tires recently as well, but not all of them. Some of them have still been a little bit tricky. Even my emaciated arms managed to get the Victorias onto the rim with no tools, and I managed to seat them with just a standard low volume floor pump. It is the absolute dream to have tubeless that behaves this well. I really have been impressed with how these tires have worn considering how much tarmac I've thrown at them. I even commute to and from work on this quite often and that is a full tarmac ride. They've had absolutely zero issues with punctures or sidewall cuts and when I look at the tread they still look like they're in fantastic condition. And as the knobs wear down they actually look more like gravel tires so it's kind of like they almost get faster as they wear out. Of course I have nothing scientific to back that up with, but you know, looks like it. A thrash mountain bike tire is still going to be really good to use on gravel. So those are some of the reasons why you would want to run mountain biking tires on your gravel setup. But why shouldn't you? Well, there's actually some pretty good reasons for that. You know, the first is that mountain bike tires are overkill for a lot of gravel riding. If you typically go out and your rides look like this on nice compacted gravel roads, you most certainly don't need a mountain bike tire to be able to handle that. You can just completely skip over the world of mountain bike tires and go with some nice fast rolling gravel rubber. Just because you can fit a tire most certainly does not mean that you should. And the stakes can actually be quite high when you're trying to wedge in a big thick mountain bike tire to a frame that maybe can't quite accommodate it. A great example is my setup. And this is way too close to the stays. There is a little bit of light rubbing under load. And that basically means that there's really no margin for error if the wheel goes out of true or if I get a really muddy day and it starts to build up around the bike. This is a titanium frame though, so that means that I can be confident that the frame will outlast the tire well and truly. But if you're running carbon, this is something that can be very dangerous and a very expensive mistake. You definitely don't want to eat away your frame by collecting a bunch of mud and having it just wear away. So always err on the side of caution with this sort of thing, especially if you're using carbon fiber. The line between gravel tire and mountain bike tire is already starting to blur. 
I mean, have a look at the WTB Sendero as an example. That literally is an adapted mountain bike tire for gravel riding. Also, the Pirelli Cinturato gravel mixed terrain has a fantastic tread pattern on it that gives you tons of grip. Something like the Maxxis Rambler is available in 700 by 50, so you can get a big size there already too. Companies like Reen Hearse are coming out with really wide, knobbly gravel tires too. So these really are starting to cross over towards mountain bike tires already. There's no escaping that wide, heavily treaded mountain bike tires are going to roll a little bit slower, particularly on sort of smoother tarmac, where the tread pattern does just slow things down. Mountain bike tires really come into their own the bumpier your riding is, and at the opposite end of the spectrum, if your riding is mostly smooth, you're not really going to get any of the gains. Now, to be perfectly fair, a really fast rolling mountain bike tire will outroll a slow rolling gravel tire every day of the week. I'm just sort of talking more more in general terms here. And finally is weight. And this is something that particularly with gravel, I try and tell people not to worry about too much, but you can't escape that a lot of mountain bike tires are quite heavy, but there is a very good reason for that. So let's say you are sold on the idea of mountain biking tires for your gravel bike and you want some recommendations. Well, I have a couple of good options. First is the Vittorio Mescals. I've used them and I quite like them. Next is the absolutely legendary tire in this category, the Maxxis Icon. Here is Josh riding them on his bike, and Angus, and Simon, and Matt. These are popular for good reason, so you can buy them with confidence. There's also tons of other options in fast rolling mountain bike tires with the Continental Speed King or Schwalb Thunder Burt. So just check out the price, check out the trade pattern, and buy whatever you think is going to fit your application the best. And that is where I'm going to leave it. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you run mountain bike tires on your gravel bike. And if so, what are they? Leave them in the comment section below so people who are doing their research can get some recommendations from the people who are using it. Thanks for watching, as always, and ride safe, stay healthy until I see you next time.